spot. Milk and cream. Oh, yeah, we gotta get milk. Hello everybody and welcome back to Zephyr's Travels. In this video we're going to the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania. It is located right across the street from the Strasburg Railroad and it is, can be part of your ticket package when you go ride the train. This is really a wonderful museum. It's got a lot of beautifully restored trains and it's in a great setting. It's all indoors. They've got them on the tracks and they've got them displayed really, really nice. In this section here we're going to take a walk down which is like a railroad town and you've got the um, train station right here, or the depot, the telegraph, the waiting room, you know, the place where you're going to buy your tickets, the tickets office. All this stuff is right here recreated to make it feel like you're actually in an old town. So as you walk along this section of the town, you can see over here we have a general store and all the wares that would be purchased at the store are on display. You've got the telegraph office right here and a gentleman at the um, desk. Uh, it, it's really, really neat looking. Um, coming up here, we've got the hotel, and of course, every hotel has a lobby bar, and it, there's a place where you could go in and have a couple of stiff drinks with a couple of stiffs. These guys look like they've been there for a while. Coming up here, we have a photo studio where you can get your, your picture taken. This is the local restaurant. It's actually a functioning restaurant that you can go in and get a snack at while you're touring the museum. Maybe you could have lunch here or something. It's pretty, it looks pretty nice. We didn't go in at the time, but uh, it looks like it may be a nice place to go. Now we've crossed into the center section here between two different trains. And you can see over here on our right side, there's a beautifully restored steam engine that would have been used to haul freight, probably possibly some passenger uh, cars. And over on the other side here, we've got passenger cars. We've actually got the other side of the train that was um, docked along the station there. There's somebody in there. Milk and cream. Oh, yeah, we gotta get milk. Here we have the American Star. This engine was built in 1905. And it has an interesting history in that it was used in the movie Hello Dolly and also in several television documentaries and commercials. So I thought this was really interesting to be able to see this engine here. This is an H-Class locomotive. It was used to haul freight. Back in 1924, the Pennsylvania Railroad had over 3,000 of these locomotives. This is a replica of the 1830 locomotive probably representing the oldest engine in the museum. We're coming up on one of the newer engines in the museum. This is a General Motors diesel electric and it has some interesting significance to Diane whose father was a railroad engineer and he actually drove an engine like this for a, a long part of his career. So let's take a walk up to take a look inside and you can see what these um, diesel electrics really mm -hmm. look like. How's it going? Good. Good. Her father drove one of these. Oh, very cool. Yeah. yeah. He worked for Conrail. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of our newer pieces. It was built in 1963, so definitely a, a newer one. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I can show you some of the controls if you'd like. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, and you're more than welcome to sit down or stand, whatever you feel more comfortable <laughs> okay. with. But uh, we've got our throttle here, so that's going to control our speed. Below that is the reverser. Uh, it's gonna let us go either forward or backwards. We've got two sets of brakes. So this is the independent brake. It stops just the locomotive. And then this one's our train brake. It stops the entire thing. Uh, and then we've got our horn and our bell here. Mm -hmm. And then we've got our sanders below that. So that'll put a right. little bit of sand on the track. So we have the traction we need. 
Yeah. Now, is that the dead man switch down that there? Is. That is. That's the dead man's pedal down there. You yep. have to have your foot on that. Yep. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Let us know if you need anything. You have any questions? Okay. This is a General Motors E7 diesel engine, and if you're like me and you grew up in the 60s and you had some type of train set, this was the engine you had. It was used to haul um, mostly passenger cars, but the amount of train sets they always gave you. This to me is the classic um, streamlined diesel engine, as you can see it from the front here, the sleek round um, front end, low windows, the big top light up there. This is a classic engine. This is an executive business car. This car was used by like the Rockefellers or the owners of the railroad to travel along the rails to inspect what's going on and to get from place to place. This car was outfitted as a instructional car for using to train engineers and railroad personnel on how to use the brakes on the railroad system. It's really an interesting car. It's like a little office. This is the GG1. This was probably the most successful electric engine that was ever built. The Pennsylvania Railroad used these engines from 1930 on right up until the late 70s. Climb up the stairs and take a look inside and see what it was like to drive one of these unique electric engines. What's really neat is when we walk through this section of the museum, you can see a lot of the freight cars. And it's interesting to me because I look at these cars like this oil tanker here. These are the cars I had in my line out training. They're, it's so cool to see these things in real size. This is an H-Class locomotive. At the dawn of the 20th century, this was the engine that was used to haul passengers and freight across the country. An interesting fact is that in 1939, the Pennsylvania Railroad sold 15 of these H-Class 6 engines to the Imperial Japanese government, and they used them in China, which was at that time under Japanese control. This is a snowplow that would have been pushed by the engine across the tracks during the winter. This, you need to get the snow off the tracks to keep the railroad moving, and this was the way they did it back then. Well guys, our time here at the Railroad Museum is coming to an end, but before we go, let's take a walk up these stairs here to the catwalk and take one more look at the Railroad Museum. It is really a, an impressive museum that really should be on your 
list of places to go if you're in the Amish area of Pennsylvania. You can see that they've got a beautiful collection of restored railroad engines, cars, and they're displayed in such a nice way. Seen everything or? Yeah, I guess. I hope you enjoyed this video of the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania. We had a really good time bringing it to you. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell so that you notify when we post new videos. We're going to try to do videos on a weekly basis and we don't want you to miss out. And if you don't follow us on Instagram or Facebook, please do at Zephyr's Travels. Thank you so much, and we'll see you down the road.